Hello and thanks for joining me on another landscape photography outing. Today I'm in the mountains and I'm planning to walk part of the Snowdon Ranger path. But before I head up the mountain there's something I really have to capture that I just spotted as I was leaving the car park. I was just getting myself organised when I looked across Linquetlin and spotted this. How about that for a fabulous lone tree and early morning light on a mountain composition? So what I've done with this shot, I've taken my aperture right down to f20, not the sort of region I would normally go to, but I was desperate to get my shutter speed up to about a minute because there's quite a bit of ripple on the lake and I really wanted to slow it down. I'm about uh, an hour and a half into my walk, feels like three, and I guess I'm about half, halfway up to where I'm heading. I was forced to have a pit stop for hard boiled eggs and cold sausages, so big thanks to the lovely Mrs G for that idea. It's an absolutely glorious day. It's mid-November, and I'll let you into a secret. I'm actually thinking of stripping off and taking my thermals off because, to be honest with you, it is so warm. It's absolutely beautiful. There's a gentle breeze blowing for which I'm actually grateful. It makes a change from the usual brutal winds that we get here. Well, I'm at the summit of Moyle Cangorion. Behind me on the ridge, you can see where the Snowdon Ranger Path heads on up to Snowdon Summit. Um, worth knowing, the Ranger Path is the quietest of the six main routes up Snowdon. So if you do come here during busy periods, it's worth considering using that route. It's also relatively gentle compared to some of the other routes. Um, not as gentle as Lamberis, but nowhere near as long either. So the views from up here absolutely stunning. I can see all the way from Hollyhead down to Porth Madog and all the major peaks surround me from here. So I'm going to have a lot of fun getting some images. Let me just quickly spin you around to show you the peaks that we can see from here. So looking over towards the uh, northwest, that's Voilgorch and Moilelio. Across Anglesey, there's Dinorwig and Elidiavaur. And then across there, you can just make out the summit of Treven and uh, the Glidavar and Glidavaur. And guess what? The summit of Moilkengorion has got a pond. How fabulous is that? Now, I knew it was here, but I wasn't sure if it would have any water in it after a long, dry summer. Because obviously, being right on the very summit of the mountain, uh, all it catches is direct rainfall. There's nothing running into it. So it's really, really unusual. 
But as you can imagine, I'm going to make the most of that. Now at the moment, I've got some lovely light on Treven Summit and Glidavaur. So for my first shot, that's my subject. What I'm trying to do with it is to include that pond I showed you. Now, I really like that there's a little row of grass on the front edge of the pond. The problem is it's quite breezy up here, so I'm going to need a fast shutter speed if I'm going to freeze that. What that means is I can't use a small aperture because that would slow my shutter speed down. So I'm shooting at f9, giving me a shutter speed of about 160th, and that's enough to freeze the grass. The problem, of course, with that is the pond is only about 30 feet in front of the camera and Treven is about five kilometers away as the crow flies. So I need a really long depth of field. So I can't do it in a single shot. And this is a perfect excuse to use focus stacking. And what that means is that I'll be shooting, at, focusing at different points within the frame and stitching them together in post-production. Now another advantage of focus stacking this image is it means I don't have to worry too much about my exposure. The sky above Glidavaur is really bright, but the image that I take that's focusing on that summit will be metered for that sky. And that means that I don't need to worry about putting a grad filter on to take the sky down a little bit. I can sort all that out in post. I'm probably gonna use four images for this stack because I want my aperture quite wide open. The other advantage of that is that by shooting at f9, I know that's a really good sweet spot for this lens, which will give me a sharper image in any case. So what I've done is I've got myself just down under the summit, right on the edge of a sheer drop of about 800 feet, something like that. As many of you will know if you follow my channel, and by the way, if you're a subscriber, may I take this opportunity to thank you very profoundly. I really appreciate all of you that subscribe and comment and support what I do here. Anyway, back to being on the edge of a cliff. Um, as you may know, I spent a lot of time on the edge of cliffs. I seem to find myself getting the best shots from somewhere that puts life and limb at significant risk. So the problem is I haven't been able to talk you through the batch of images that I'm about to show you. I set up my tripod um, literally on the lowest setting and I sat here and I've been shooting at f8 because I didn't need uh, any depth of field particularly. All of my focusing points are way off in the distance, pretty much infinity. And I've just been taking a series of shots of all sorts of things, but it really was impossible to set up the vlogging camera to talk you through any of it. So apologies for that. And really all you need to know is that shooting at f8, sweet spot, um, all single exposure, no need for any blending, very straightforward stuff. It's really all about the compositions and what I've been trying to do is to feature diagonals, light and shade. Um, you'll see what I mean when you look and, and you know, if there's anything you're not sure of and you look at them and think, what were you thinking? Um, leave a comment and, and I'll, I'll tell you what I was thinking if I can remember her the, by that time. But uh, yeah, so uh, as you've just seen, here I am right on the edge of a cliff and what an amazing place. I have to say that uh, throughout uh, most of this year, I may have mentioned on previous vlogs that I've, I've had a bit of a gammy leg. Uh, and so for most of this year, I've really been struggling and on some occasions could barely walk a few hundred meters. Um, and a few weeks ago with the change of diet and an exercise regime, I seem to have turned a corner because I was puffing and panting a bit, but actually it was pretty straightforward getting up here and I've surprised myself. Back in April, I vlogged from the summit of Moilelio, which is kind of over my shoulder as it happens. And uh, I really struggled. I nearly killed myself and it was nothing like the climb that I've done today. So hopefully I've sorted myself out because if I thought that I wasn't gonna be able to get back up into the mountains again, well, that would have been a pretty grim prospect, to be honest. 
So here I am perched on the edge of this cliff and uh, I'm going to spend another hour or so here I think. Have some more cold sausages, and some hot coffee and uh, just take it all in. So I was just heading back down to the ranger path and I came across this really good opportunity for a big panorama. Um, it's the whole southern flank of Snowdon. Now, it doesn't really get much landscape photography love, unfortunately. Uh, most of the images you'll see are from the north side, obviously taking in the horseshoe. But I always like the view from the south side. And of course, don't forget, this is the one that gets the light. So what we've got is cloggy in quite deep shade, giving me some quite nice contrast. And then uh, sweeping round to uh, Snowdon Summit, and then down to include this little reservoir at uh, Llyn Fun and Aguas. So uh, four images, I think, should do it. Um, again, shooting at F8. I I'm really into F8 today. As I said earlier, the whole thing about um, the sort of photography that I'm doing today is that most of my focus points are way off in the distance, which means I can really take advantage of the sharpest point of the lens. That, that luxury isn't usually available to me. A lot of the landscape photography that I normally do has got stuff really close up and I'm looking for a really wide depth of field. In all honesty, it's actually making it quite easy today, but uh, nevertheless, I'll see how this pano turns out. Now where I'm at just at the moment is the one image that I actually had in mind when I came out today. Everything else was spur of the moment, see what you get. But this one particular image where the ridge line runs along the top of Cloggy and then up to Snowdon Summit with the Lamberis side in shade and this side in sunlight creating that leading line as it runs right up the edge was what I had in mind. As you can see, what I've got in the composition is this really interesting outcrop of rock which points straight up at Snowdon Summit. And off to the left, that lovely ridge line running right up to the top above Cloggy. Well, as you can see, the sun is starting to go down over the peaks on the Clean Peninsula and it's throwing some beautiful light across the moil winds uh, and Muniz Maur and the Nantla Ridge. So what I'm going to do is get off the mountain. It's, it's time to think about heading home. But when I'm out and about, you may know that I do tend to carry my camera rather than keep it in my backpack. So it's always handy for some handhelds. So I do expect to get a few shots on the way down and I'll be sure to put those up for you to take a look at. But in the meantime, can I just say thank you ever so much for joining me again. I've had an absolutely fabulous time, really one of my best days out in a long time. And I hope I've managed to, to bring that across to you and I hope you've enjoyed uh, seeing some of the images that I've captured. So can I just say thank you very much to my subscribers. I really appreciate your encouragement and support. Please do leave a comment, tell me what you think and maybe tell me where you'd like me to visit. Um, you know, I'm happy to do requests. So uh, thanks ever so much for watching. Oh, uh, by the way, if you haven't done it yet, why not subscribe now and join me next time? Cheers. <laughs>